Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map today. According to USA Today. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Trying to get us to 2,000 subscribers before the November election. It is upon us. It's November 1st, 2024. They are neck and neck according to some polls. Other polls have Kamala Harris way ahead, while other polls have Donald J. Trump way ahead. It's anyone's guess as to who's being honest. Who knows? They're probably all lying. New presidential election polls released in Michigan, where they had recently a non-American citizen, but that was there for a, what's it, a foreign exchange student, Chinese, that was caught voting in the election. And they ended up finding out that they really aren't a citizen and they're not supposed to be able to vote, but they kept the vote in the system anyway because Michigan and Gretchen Shipmer. But here we go. It is going to be quite the interesting map day today. Smack that comment down below. Tell us who you want to win and why with facts to back up your beliefs. Now let's fill in that beautiful map according to the uh, USA Today and MSN.com's repost. As always, the blue states are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, parts of Nebraska, Illinois, Virginia, New York, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of D.C. and parts of Maine as well are blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, blow to Biden. Next up, we have the Reds, which are for Donald J. Trump, J.D. Vance, and Republicans. Those states are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Mon uh, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, West Virginia, and Maine's second district. According to the article, though, Nevada is not mentioned, and whoever has the lead there, so it will not be colored in. Neither is Arizona, and Wisconsin aren't mentioned in the article either. But as of right now, this puts Kamala Harris at 222 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 219. You might notice that these numbers are a little bit different because for some reason the article includes New Hampshire, which at a long time ago was a battleground swing state, whatever, it wasn't that big. I mean, it's four electoral votes. I mean, it could turn the tide in someone's favor if it's a close race. But um, the article did mention New Hampshire as some kind of swing battleground. I mean, it hasn't been that for a long, long time. The article did mention, however, Michigan with 15 electoral votes. So let's go to that article and see what they said about Michigan. And there is Koala looking sick and tired as always. Keep going down. Keep going down. So we have Michigan. Harris leads Trump in Michigan. In Michigan, Harris holds a slight four-point lead over Trump, according to the latest UMass poll. The survey of 600 likely voters showed Harris leading Trump 49% to 45, conducted October 16th to the 24th. The poll had a margin of error of 4.49 percentage points. But while Harris maintains the lead, 66% of those surveyed said the country is on the wrong track, a worrying sign for the vice president. This is what I'm noticing a lot. I'm noticing this a whole bunch. Over half the country in most of these, by MSN, which is heavily Democrat, um, even uh, even HuffPost at one point said that like it was 51-something percent think that this was last month. 51% think that the country's in the wrong direction. How is it that these people can say the country's headed in the wrong direction or on the wrong track, and yet she still has support? She people the, There's people that I have talked to, and I try not to be, to be biased, but we're going to get to that at the end of the video. There's people that I've talked to where I've seen on um, YouTube or Facebook or however people communicate these days that, that say, we need a new way forward. We're not going back. Well, going back <laughs> works for both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Going back four years ago or, or when Donald Trump was in power, you know, his last day was in January of uh, 2021. Like, going back... 
four years ago to Trump or the last four years going throughout the whole last four years in the past, Kamala Harris is the vice president. You're going back either way. You're either going back to the to the, the these current four years or the four years under Donald Trump. There is no new way forward. There's not one. There's really not. If you if if you vote Kamala Harrison, you're going back, but with her at the helm and Joe Biden kicked out on a beach somewhere sleeping, <laughs> probably farting too. But uh, I'm going to get to the point. That's I just had to say that like it's on the wrong track. Yet you're going to pick the per- person who's already there right now as the vice president, making the tie-breaking vote decisions in 50-50 splits. So. You're being hypocritical is what I'm saying. I'm saying that that it's on the wrong track and yet she's going to pave a new way forward. She had four years to pave a new way forward. She disenfranchised our country, among other things. Other findings, 56% somewhat or strongly disapprove of Biden. They should disapprove of her too because she's part of his team. 46% said Trump was best to handle the Middle East. 57 gave the edge to Harris on handling abortion. Abortion is a messy topic. Uh, We'll probably do a video on that too, both candidates before the election, to clarify some things. 49% said Harris is more trustworthy, while 52% said Trump is more corrupt of the two. My question is this. How, How is she more trustworthy when she spews nothing but lies? Has Donald Trump ever lied? Oh, yeah. I've mentioned him lying uh, quite quite a few times on here, maybe four or five different times. He said Mexico was going to pay for the wall. Mexico paid for a small portion, a very, very small portion. Um, Trump said he was the most pro-Second Amendment person and president ever. He wanted to ban bump stocks. He got them banned. He empowered the ATF. He gave the ATF and police more power than they needed. He said that they should use Chevron deference um, against uh, if they can't bypass laws, gun laws and stuff. He said use Chevron deference. Um, So those are his two big lies, in my opinion. Uh, Other than that, I don't know of any lies that he told. Her, she said, oh, I've been to the border several times. And then when Lester Holt interviewed her, "Uh, I've not been to the border and uh, I've, I've never been to Europe either. And she says that uh, Donald Trump called the uh, military losers and suckers. Not true. That's an anonymous source. And number two, the one who did call the military names is her president, her boss, Joe Biden. He called the military stupid bastards. You can look it up on YouTube. It's there unedited. Um, Also, she's like, oh, we have the most secure border in history. Not true, clearly. Oh, the, uh, the, the Mexicans coming across the border or the French or the British that are coming in or the Africans, the Argentinians, the ones that are coming across the border without being properly vetted, that, that are illegally crossing. She said, they're not committing any crimes. They've killed over freaking 14 people. She's letting the cartels in to take over states, apartment buildings, business buildings, abandoned buildings, forcing the people there to pay them rent at gunpoint. I could keep, oh, she said Donald Trump wants a total, here we go, the abortion thing. She said Donald Trump wants a complete and total abortion ban. Not true. Believe it or not, Donald Trump is quite liberal. He said you can have an abortion up to three months, in his opinion. But but she said, oh, uh, the, he, he had uh, the Supreme Court overturn Roe v. Wade, the right to have an abortion or whatever. And, and that because of that, there's a nationwide abortion ban. There's no nationwide abortion ban. It left it up to the states the way it's supposed to be. Abortion's not mentioned in the Constitution at all. Not one amendment says women have a right to an abortion. So the Constitution does say if something's not mentioned in the Constitution, it's up to the states, which is what Donald Trump has been saying. Leave it up to the states. If you don't like your state's abortion laws, move. So these people saying that that Trump is more corrupt, how? He's told two lies to all the ones I just I could list even more about her. I could list even more about her. 
Meanwhile, my wife is like, are we ever going to get to the map? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading this stuff. I shouldn't have read it. I should have just read the, the election results. But uh, that's just, those are just some of the things listed off. It's the two-faced hypocrisy and, the, and, and, and people saying we want a new way forward, and yet you're voting for the person who's wrecked the country. Kamala Harris. Uh, but Harris leads Trump in Michigan. So let's fill in that map. Michigan is blue for Kamala Harris. This puts her at 237 electoral votes. Then we have Georgia is not mentioned in the article. And North Carolina is, however. So let's go to North Carolina with its 16 electoral votes. What does this article say? I think it's up top. I could be wrong. I think it's right there. Yep. Trump leads Harris in North Carolina. Trump is leading Harris by two percentage points in a new poll by UMass Lowell slash YouGov released Thursday. The poll of 650 likely voters showed Trump leading Harris 47 percent to 45 in the final days of the 2024 election. 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 The poll conducted October 16th to the 23rd had a margin of error 4.2 percentage points. In a concerning sign for the vice president, 74% of those surveyed in the state reported feeling that the country has been on the wrong track. 74%. While 57 either somewhat or strongly disapprove of Joe Biden's job. Joe Biden. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, I got tongue-tied. As in many polls, the majority of respondents, 49%, give Trump the edge when asked who they think is best positioned to handle the economy. 49% give Trump the edge when asked. Oh, Wow. Most respondents also said Trump would be the best to handle the conflict in the Middle East and immigration. However, mirroring other national trends, Harris was given the edge from respondents on abortion. We already did, we just talked about that. Um, Harris was also perceived by those who pulled as being more trustworthy, <laughs> more likely to uphold the law. Oh my God! While Trump was perceived by forty-eight to be pulled as this article doesn't make any sense. More corrupt than his opponent. Hang on, we already got to her being a liar, massive mega liar. More likely to uphold the law. We're talking about the woman who wanted to defund the police, who who organized all those George Floyd riots, who Joe Biden and her bailed the rioters that were burning, stealing, destroying property, lying shit on fire, shooting, murdering, killing, raping people during the George Floyd riots. And she is heavily anti-Second Amendment, more than Trump. She wants to ban all guns. People call us liars for saying that. I said that to one person before. She has said several times, I want to ban all guns. Every single one of them. Now she's saying, oh no, Tim Walls and I are gun owners. Just stop lying during that ABC debate, I believe it was, or C whatever it was, CBS, whatever. Whatever debate it was. It was stupid. It was a terrible debate. Um, but yeah, so uphold the law. The, whether you like it or not, the Second Amendment is the law. But free speech, she has urged. It, Facebook, Mark, Mark Fuckerberg just came out like a month ago and said that he was paid by Joe Biden, Kamala Harris's campaign, and their advisors to censor Republicans on Facebook in 2019 and 2020. And up until right now, it, it, he was paid and, and he was urged to also censor the Hunter Biden laptop story. Which was real. Remember, I was I was shit talked for it for years. Oh, it's not real. I saw the laptop. I saw the stuff on it. It's all true what they say. Someone leaked it a long, long time ago. Uh, I believe it was uh, October of 2020. It was online for a month. The email, his personal email, the emails back and forth, everything that the news mentioned was there. The hookers, the prostitutes, the cocaine, the drugs, the Ukraine deal. You have no experience. The big guy. The big man, the big guy, he was called, Joe Biden was called both. You're telling me that she's going to, the First Amendment is the law. You're telling me she's going to uphold the law? Oh my God. How can you have massive support in North Carolina for Trump and then the, oh, 48% say that she's more trustworthy than murder? I don't get it. Anyway, North Carolina is red for Donald J. Trump. And then next up, for the first time ever in a long time, New Hampshire. But first, I want to go to that article. I want to look at Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. Where's he at? Where's the Terminator at? Where's the governor? Look at this. Look at this clown. Look at him. 
In a rare endorsement, former California Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger announced he will vote for Democrat ticket in the presidential election. I always will be an American before I am a Republican, he wrote in social media post Wednesday, October 30th. That's why this week I am voting for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, Timothy Sugar Walls, because they are both as dumb as me. They are both retarded like me. I'm a terrible actor. You need to get me more money. Fuck your freedom. Is anyone shot that this clown is, is voting for her and him? Is there, is there anyone shot? Remember, during the coronavirus lockdowns, he said this. I know everyone is attacking me for being so evil, but I got to say you cannot go to the grocery store. You cannot go to the bathroom. You cannot get gasoline. All I got to say, you crying freedom this, freedom that. Fuck your freedom! It's exactly what he said in 2020. Sorry, my wife is laughing. <laughs> Fuck your freedom! Is anyone shot this idiot's fucking voting for Kamala Harris? All right, just, just scroll down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went on a whole tangent. People are like, when is he going to get to the damn map? <laughs> so, Harris with a Slim Lee in Pennsylvania. Uh, according to this this website, the UMass poll showed Harris with a slim one percent point lead over Trump in the key state of Pennsylvania. The survey of 800 likely voters was conducted October 16th to 23rd, showing Harris leading Trump 48 percent to 47 percent. Sorry, my eyes went cross. <laughs> uh, the lead was well within the poll's margin of error of 3.73 percentage points. Response favored Trump when it came to which candidate would better handle the economy. Fifty percent. Wow, he got fifty percent to her forty-four percent, as well as handling the Israel-Hamas war. Forty-seven percent to thirty-nine percent. So wait, 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 wait. Harris is ahead in Pennsylvania, yet he is destroying her in the percentages for who would handle the economy better and the war. Okay, this is where I say Democrats don't make. This doesn't make any sense. Anyone with a brain can look at these numbers at the bottom. And it, the economy, he's better 50%. He's got a six-point lead on the economy over her. And he's got a massive lead on the handling of the war in Israel. Yet she's ahead? <laughs> and they've already found voter fraud in Pennsylvania in three counties. 1,600 confirmed. 1,600 confirmed fraudulent votes written by the same three handwriters and the same three people filled out 1,600 votes. You're, you, do you think that they did this in a month? No, they were told months ago. The three people that are responsible for this were told months ago, start writing in fraudulent ballots for her. The same thing happened four years ago, and it's happening now. And they found fraud in Nevada, and they also found fraud in Virginia, and obviously I mentioned Michigan. So they are trying to steal the election again. Sorry for your ears, baby. Um, but yeah, let's look at this map. So somehow uh, Kamala Harris is winning Pennsylvania. Make Pennsylvania blue for Kamala Harris. That would put her in the lead at 256 to Donald J. Trump's 235 electoral votes. Megan Kamala Harris. Oh, I believe she leads in, in New Hampshire, too, according to that article. So New Hampshire, let's look at the article, is blue for Kamala Harris as well. And where's it at? New Hampshire. Harris' lead in New Hampshire is slightly higher at 7 percentage points. No one saw why this even got mentioned is beyond me. No other pollster has mentioned New Hampshire in the last three months. I don't know why this specific one said, oh, let's do New Hampshire. The poll also found that 72% of respondents believe the country is heading in the wrong direction. 72% think the country's heading in the wrong direction, yet they're voting for her. She's been there for four years. Why would you vote for her if it's in the wrong direction? She's part of that. 56%, 56% somewhat or strongly disapprove of Biden. Half. A little over half of you disapprove of Biden. Guess what? She's with him. 57% Harris would better handle the situation on abortion. We already discussed that. 53% said Harris is more trustworthy and 54% of Trump is more corrupt. We already talked about that. It's complete opposite. So my thoughts on this map, let's look at it. The final tally is 
Kamala Harris at 260, Donald J. Trump at 235. It's similar to freaking 2020. Um, so I'm assuming that Trump would need to win Georgia, Wisconsin, Arizona, and, and, and that would be a stay lead. And Kamala Harris would need just to win Wisconsin. That's scary. That's really scary. She would just need to win Wisconsin because it's pretty much in the bag for uh, Wisconsin. Uh, let's fill these in for Kamala Harris. So Wisconsin, you don't need to really fill that in. For Republican Donald J. Trump, let's see what he would need to, to boost his. Let's do Georgia. And I don't think he's winning Wisconsin. I could be wrong. I hope I eat my words. Arizona and Nevada. Oh, wow. She would still win just having Wisconsin. 268 to 270 if she had Wisconsin. That's crazy. So you all are probably like, well, he's never vetted for Donald Trump this much. I'm not saying he's perfect, but I just listed every good thing about him. This is Donald Trump's policies. No tax on tips. Close the border. No tax on overtime should be a winner. No tax on Social Security. He announced all this at his rallies. He also said that interest rates on new car loans that are made in America, cars that are made in America, no tax on can be written off. Well, the, the tax that you would pay on the interest is can be written off. Sorry, there is... there. He's not doing no tax on new cars. He's doing that you can write your taxes off on your new car loans that are made in America off on your taxes. He's um, also mentioned, because uh, I try to watch both both their rallies. I can't really stand her voice and her fakery. Um, obviously, you know, state, state, the, the, the 50 states get to choose their abortion laws. Um, he's also having Elon Musk uh, help with the, with the deficit. And the, the money and energy saving plan, RFK is helping with the food and the exercise and the health of our, our nation. Tulsi Gabbard, don't know too much about her, <laughs> to be honest. I know she's from Hawaii, uh, was in the military at some point. Um, and uh, he wants a closed border. No more criminals, no more drugs coming over. Mass deportation. I don't know why people think everyone needs to come in. Wide open borders. Then you get what's happening elsewhere in the country. You get the crime goes up. Sure, there are great people that come across. Come legally. Come legally. Kamal Harris's plan. Higher taxes for everyone. Higher taxes for the middleman. You and I. Everyone listening. Higher taxes on businesses. People say, oh, that's great. Tax the businesses. Pay their fair share. The businesses in this country pay 90% of the taxes. 90% of the taxes. You know why everything's so sky high? Because your dumb President Joe Biden and dumb Vice President Kamala Harris have raised the taxes on almost everything. When you tax businesses, they raise their prices. Tax your businesses, raise the prices. You pay more. So you're worse off. She wants wide open borders. People say, no, she never said that. Yes, she did. There's videos from the last 10 years. Every year, she's mentioned at least one time for 10 years, open borders, no one's illegal. She was a terrible prosecutor. She locked black men and women up. And then when they were set to be released, she kept them in prison longer than their sentence just because her and her husband had a little handout with the prison system. They got paid for the longer they incarcerate people for, they got paid for it. The prisons made money. The government made money off of prisoners being locked up. She locked up people. She sent innocent men and women to death row when she had evidence that they were innocent of the crimes they were accused of committing. Kamala Harris is a murderer. She's a terrible woman, a terrible person, and a terrible American. She needs to go back to Canada where she belongs. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Endorsing Donald J. Trump.